Hi, I'm Pooja. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I absolutely love to paint using watercolors and I can't wait to paint with you today. In today's tutorial, as you can already see in the teaser, we are going to paint a lush green watercolor tree. And guess what? We are going to paint this without sketching. Does that excite you? Well, so without further ado, let's look at the art supplies we are going to need for this project and get started. So for this project, you are going to need watercolor paper. Make sure to use the textured side of the paper, which is the correct side. And of course, we are going to need watercolors. And for painting the tree, we are going to need about two to three different shades of green. Uh, some yellow color, some brown, a bit of blue. So these are all the shades that we are going to need. You will also need a round brush, preferably a size 6 or 8. Anything that you have works. And I have mentioned pencil and eraser, but it's completely optional because like I said earlier, we are not going to sketch our tree today, but we are directly going to paint it using our paint and brush. But if you are still not comfortable, you can always have a, a rough sketch underneath your painting. So a pencil and an eraser for that. You will also need a cup of clean water to rinse your brush and some tissue paper to dab and clean your brush. Okay, now to paint the tree, I have this reference picture of a tree that I've already painted before. And we are going to need some yellow color, about two shades of green and a shade of brown. And the source of light is going to be on the right hand side top. So the portion on the left side of the tree is going to be dark green. And we are also going to show a shadow underneath the tree. So this is how our tree painting is going to look like. So make sure that your tree is light on the right hand side and it's darker on the left hand side to show the shadows. So remember the source of light is on the right hand side top. Now let's start by mixing our very first shade which is just a bit of green mixed into your yellow. So if you have lemon yellow mix a lot of it and then add a tinge of green color to it. So that's going to be our lightermost shade and I'm going to mix some more color. Make sure this color is watery, add lots of water to your paint because this is the first layer on which we are going to build the other layers. Now try to hold your brush a bit at the back and make these random brush marks and leave lots of white gaps in between. Try not to have a big blob of paint at just one place but make sure that you are scattering the paint everywhere. And while you're making these brush marks, make sure that you are following an imaginary circle. So once you place your brush marks, it's going to look like a rough circle, like the way I'm painting right now, with lots of white gaps in between. So that's our first layer. And wherever you think the paint is drying, you can put some more water on your brush and make that area wet. So we can add the darker layers on top of it. Okay, so that's our rough circle. Let's move on to the next shade. I mixed some more green into the existing color which is the second shade as you can see. 
try not to make it too dark just as yet and using this color I'm going to make some brush marks on top of the first layer leave some portion on the right hand side top and then start making these brush marks in the diagonally downward direction like the way I'm doing make sure the white gaps still exist try not to cover them and as you come down increase the amount of green you have on your brush so as you come down you are going to have less water and more paint on your brush so this is layer number two on top of the first yellowish green layer okay now I'm adding a bit more green onto my brush I'm using sap green to be precise this is shade number three I'm using the same green that I used earlier it's just that this time I'm adding less water to it so this is shade number three in between let's start placing that color in the middle portion of the tree so eventually we want all of the shades to be seen starting from top to bottom remember that your source of light is on the top right hand side so as you come down the shades of green are going to get darker towards the branches and the trunk of the tree and because all your layers are wet your green colors will start to merge into each other make sure you glide your brush very softly just try to touch it using the tip of the brush and make smaller brush strokes to keep the white gaps okay now we are going to build a darker shade of green I'm going to use lots of sap green and a bit of navy blue so to build the darkest shade of green here I'm mixing dark blue into the green and you can instantly see how the shade is getting darker and more pigmented and this time I'm also adding very less water let's swatch our color okay so that's my dark green that I want to use and I will start placing this at the bottom of the tree the bottom portion of the tree which is just above the trunk and it will start merging into the previous layers I think it's already looking very pretty I'm just gliding my brush very softly and making random brush marks like so some brush marks on the top as well to show some shadows shadows of the leaves okay now it depends on you how dark you want your green to be if you want you can mix one more shade of green and I think there is scope to have one more shade this time I'm mixing brown color into my sap green and making an even darker shade and just applying it at the bottom a bit in the center and letting this color bleed everywhere on its own you don't really have to mix the colors because the earlier color is still wet and you will see that beautiful blending starts to happen when you place the colors on top of each other okay so now the top portion the green portion of the tree is ready we will start working on the trunk and to draw the main trunk of the tree I have mixed a very light shade of brown onto my palette and then I'm just drawing a small trunk underneath the green portion of the tree make sure that it's not a straight line 
but it's a bit crooked on the sides and then I'm mixing a darker shade of brown and simply dabbing some paint on top of the first layer so that's our trunk of the tree and then I'm rinsing my brush and with a clean brush I'm just dragging the paint at the bottom of the trunk into a horizontal line to build a shadow so your trunk is already wet right so you're going to use a wet brush and drag it little bit on the sides which will create the shadow of the tree so at this point we will wait for our tree to dry completely so that we can work on the branches and the finishing touches after it's dried up so let's take a pause let your tree dry up and we will come back to it okay now let's check if the tree has dried up completely yeah my tree looks quite dry and now I'm going to use a small size brush and I'm going to draw the branches that are seen in the white gaps of the tree so we are just going to draw some lines in between the white pockets so use a darker shade of brown don't use too much water this time because we don't want this color to flow and I am slowly going to start placing the branches wherever I see white gaps let's start with a big branch coming out from the trunk I'm just making a V shape using very less water because I want the branches to be dark and not runny or flowy so less water more paint and just draw these small lines in between the white gaps so it will look as if the branches are behind the leaves or coming through the leaves and it will give a beautiful effect of the branches peeking through the white caps and your tree will start to look complete as you start adding the branches so take your own sweet time to fill up the white caps okay so I think those are all the branches that I could add in the white caps and now I think the tree looks a bit incomplete probably some more finishing touches and to do this I'm going to do my most favorite part which is uh, the splattering so I'm going to mix some watery green color onto my palette add lots of water to it and then I'm going to load my brush with this paint and simply tap the color I'm going to splatter it around the tree and it instantly looks very um, natural and organic and I really like adding splatter around certain subjects and the tree is one of them so yeah that is our tree it's complete now and let's have a closer look at it I hope you were able to paint with me and I would love to see what you painted and if you were able to paint the green tree you can also paint this autumn tree which is made up of yellow orange red and brown color I have used the exact same method that we used for the for painting the green tree and do give this a try and I would love to see how you did And yes, if you still haven't subscribed to my channel, then please go and hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon next to it so you won't miss my new tutorials. Thank you for painting with me today. Take care.